So, what exactly is Orca and why is it so significant? Orca is a 13 billion parameter model that learns from sophisticated explanation traces of GPT-4, which is a far larger model capable of producing nearly any kind of text you can think of. Why would Microsoft want to build a smaller model that learns from a larger one? Isn't it true that when it comes to AI, greater is usually better? No, not exactly. Larger models are more powerful, but they have significant disadvantages. They are incredibly costly to train and operate, need a large amount of computational resources and energy, and are beyond the reach of the majority of academics and developers. As a result, there has been a great deal of interest in developing smaller models that can nevertheless perform well on a variety of tasks, such as answering questions, summarizing texts, producing captions, and so on. These smaller models are often fine-tuned on certain datasets or instructions to increase their specialized and efficient nature. However, there is a flaw with this strategy. Smaller models have worse thinking and understanding abilities than larger ones. When confronted with complicated or unclear questions, they often make blunders or provide irrelevant responses. They are also unable to articulate how they arrived at their conclusions or the procedures they took to address an issue. But Orca isn't simply another smaller model that looks like a larger one. Orca is a tiny model that learns from a larger model's reasoning process. When it creates its replies, it learns from the explanations given by GPT-4. These explanations are more than just simple lines or phrases. They include precise records of how GPT-4 thinks step by step how it employs logic and common sense, how it links disparate bits of knowledge, and how it simplifies complicated ideas. Orca becomes much more competent and clever than other models as a result of learning from these explanations. It is capable of handling more diversified and difficult jobs, providing more accurate and relevant responses, and explaining its own reasoning process to people. This is a significant step forward for open source AI. Orca will soon be open source, which means that anybody may use it and improve on it. It will allow more people to benefit from GPT-4's power without having to pay for it or cope with its constraints. Orca will also offer up new avenues for AI research and development, particularly in sectors requiring greater thinking and comprehension abilities. To understand how Orca works, we must first comprehend how GPT-4 operates. GPT-4 is more than just a text generator. It can answer factual questions, summarize large texts, generate captions, write essays, and other jobs that require thinking. GPT-4, interestingly, may give explanations for its results. These may be discovered in the model's internal states, which are effectively its thoughts or memories and include the logic and information utilized to create outputs. We may reveal these internal explanations by utilizing certain prompts, providing a thorough perspective of how GPT-4 thinks, solves issues, and utilizes many sources of knowledge, including its own memory, the web, and common sense. These explanations are quite useful for smaller models wishing to learn from GPT-4. They give additional signals and advice for doing various jobs as well as reasoning and understanding diverse ideas. They also improve the transparency and interpretability of the learning process for people. This is exactly what Orca does. Orca learns from the explanations generated by GPT-4 while it accomplishes various tasks. It utilizes these explanations as training data and attempts to mimic them as precisely as possible. When doing similar tasks, Orca attempts to produce its own explanations and compares them to GPT-4's answers in order to better itself. So, Orca is built on Vicunia, a prior open source model that was fine-tuned using GPT-3.5 question-answer pairs. Orca expands Vicunia by introducing explanation tweaking, a new approach that enables it to learn from complicated GPT-4 explanation traces. Explanation tuning is a novel strategy that improves GPT-4's ability to follow particular instructions. By improving an AI with cues like summarize this in a sentence or create a love haiku, we may make it better at certain jobs. However, explanation tuning goes beyond that. It trains GPT-4 to divulge its thinking process with suggestions such as think sequentially or explain like I'm a child. GPT-4's rationale becomes more obvious in this manner. This method employs both standard and explanation prompts. The former are for routine tasks such as who leads France and create a winter poem. The latter tell GPT-4 to explain its thinking by saying things like think in steps or show how you did it. GPT-4 generates complicated explanation traces when both prompt kinds are used simultaneously. For example, if the usual query, who leads France, is combined with the explanation prompt, think in steps, GPT-4 may deliver a step-by-step -step answer. This thorough response not only identifies the president, but also demonstrates GPT-4's problem-solving technique and knowledge sources, providing more insight than a simple answer. 
Orca uses these explanation traces as learning material, attempting to duplicate them and develop its own in order to improve. But where do these traces originate? Orca uses FLAN 2022, a vast database of over a thousand jobs and 10,000 instructions spanning a wide range of topics. Orca obtains a variety of tasks from FLAN 2022 and uses them to query GPT-4 for explanation traces. It also generates complicated prompts from the dataset to put GPT-4's reasoning to the test, such as mashing two tasks into one. Orca learns from different and complicated activities in this manner, nurturing many facets of human intellect. Orca is assessed using a variety of standards that assess its generating, reasoning, and understanding skills. Multiple choice questions, natural language inference, text summarization, text creation, picture captioning, and other benchmarks are included. Orca is pitted against other models of comparable or bigger dimensions, including Vicunia 13b, Text DaVinci 0.03, a free version of GPT-3, Chat GPT 3.5, and GPT-4. Orca outperforms all other open source models in most benchmarks, especially those requiring deeper thinking. Despite its smaller size, it equals or outperforms ChatGPT in many areas and competes with GPT-4 in others such as natural language inference and picture captioning. Here's a short rundown of Orca's benchmark results. It achieves a 64% accuracy on Big Bench Hard BBH, more than double the Cunia 13B's 30% and outperforming ChatGPT's 59% and GPT-4's 62%. It obtains an 86% average on Superglue, SG, outperforming Vicunia 13B's 81%, Text DaVinci 0.03's 83%, Chat GPT's 84%, and closely equal GPT-4's 88%. Orca receives a Rouge L score of 41 on CNN Daily Mail CDM, surpassing Vicunia 13B's 38%, Text DaVinci 0.03's 39%, Chat GPT's 40%, and close in on GPT-4's 42%. It has a cider of 120 on Coco Captions, CC, which is higher than Vicunia 13B at 113%, Text DaVinci 0.03's 115%, ChatGPT's 117%, and GPT-4's 119%. As can be seen, Orca is a very adaptable and efficient model that performs well across jobs and domains and is about to become open source. It can also run on a single GPU. The success of Orca gives several insights on the future of AI. For starters, it shows that learning from explanations rather than simply replies significantly improves AI intelligence and performance. Orca not only improves its reasoning abilities by studying GPT-4's explanations, but it also gives a clear peek into its problem-solving process. Second, Orca demonstrates that despite their size, smaller models can equal or exceed bigger ones. Taking a cue from GPT-4, Orca avoids size-related problems by demonstrating that smaller models may be more accessible and efficient, using less resources and less energy. Third, Orca highlights how open-source AI may equal proprietary AI via imaginative ways, as well as how open-source AI's increased accessibility can benefit more people and stimulate additional applications. Orca isn't simply a small GPT-4 or another open-source model in terms of placement. While it lacks GPT-4's large capability and knowledge base, it does use GPT-4's reasoning to make it smarter than other tiny models. It also outperforms GPT-4 in terms of transparency, since it generates its own explanation traces. Orca, in contrast to other open-source models, learns from a diverse set of tasks and detailed explanations, making it more intelligent and adaptable. As a result, Orca holds a unique position in the AI space, combining GPT-4's power with the accessibility of open-source AI, and exhibiting the promise of explanation-based learning. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you like it. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already, so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you in the next one.